G'day guys, Alpha here. It's uh, been a long time since I've recorded a Minecraft Edu video, but I spent a couple of hours last night trying to work out how these custom NPCs and Miscraft work together for my idea for a maths world. So just to give you a bit of a brief understanding, um, this Miscraft stuff adds various worlds, so you can create worlds based on all of these different little icons here. Um, so I just created a random world and I can go to that random world by clicking or right clicking on that book. Um, I also spent some time getting Julie here to give me a quest and I thought I would show you not necessarily how to do it, that can be another video, but how I think this is going to work when I actually um, get all of this together. So this was just a mock-up, um, whether I use this or not, I'm not sure. But if I right click on Julie, I go into a conversation thread. So this again, just a mock up. So hi there, welcome to the learning place. Um, oh, sorry, wrong person. OK, no worries. Come back and see me if I can help you in any way. Or I say I want to get rewards. Um, OK, you want to learn about probability. There are rewards if you bring back the correct answers. And sure, I can learn probability. Okay, all I need to do is travel into the book behind me by right-clicking on it and then left-clicking on the black box on the right page of the book. Good luck. Okay, and you'll see that I just, it said in the text chat there that started a new quest probability. Now, that shows up here, and I even get... I need to get a block of emerald, one block of emerald, and I need to travel to the realm of probability by using the book behind Julie in the place of learning. So if I go and right-click on this book... I go to probability. This is a small biome, frozen ocean with ice plains and ice plains with dense ores. It's dark, it's got fast weather, it's eternal night, and it's standard terrain. So not the best world, and here we are. Not the best world for um, a probability station, but this is a completely new world. Um, it's storming, it's completely dark, and it will always be dark. Um, regardless of the server settings that Minecraft Edu has. And then I just put a, a, a row of torches down to a, I think, a little way ahead to about here. And then, so I would have the tasks set up in here and their reward or their the end product of completing that task would be the block of emerald. So I'm going to pause the recording for a second. I'll come back with a block of emerald in my hand and you can see what happens. So I'll just wait here and I'll be back in a flash. Okay, and I'm back and I've been given a block of emerald. So if I go back to the overworld, I end up here, and if I talk to Julie, I get, hi, congratulations for completing the quest, here is some experience. She takes my block of emerald and gives me experience and 32 torches, um, 37 experience. So she gave me 1500 experience plus 32 torches. So I can customise the rewards they get, so I can give them 30 levels and an enchanting table, or something like that, or I'm thinking um, that I could give them tradable items, because with these custom NPCs I can make traders, so they can, if I give them, say, a, a block of brick that can be worth, you know, 20 blocks of stone, or you know, something like that, so a, a trading system. Um, in the town here there can be merchants and things like that and they can trade things um, for food or for building blocks or something like that is my thought. So that's just a quick video to update you on how this is going. Um, as you can see you might have got a sneak peek before. Um, there are still some issues with this version of Minecraft EDU. Uh, I think that's carrots and that's potatoes. Um, so there are still some issues here. So we're working through them and hopefully the new Forge compatible version will be released soon and I'll give you guys um, some tutorials on how to add mods and, and maybe even how to do some of the stuff with custom NPCs and Mistcraft. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick, very quick video um, to show you where we're at and what we're thinking about doing with this, um, or at least what I'm thinking about doing with this for my maths world. Um, so yeah, each were, each each world would have its own activities and its own reward and students would be able to I'm thinking I can probably repeat that 
if I so I can do it again um, I haven't got it so I can do it again so I'll give myself another block of dime, uh, emerald and we're back again so I've been given another block of emerald so I've finished it and I get a heap of experience again and 32 more torches so I can repeat that over and over and over again if I want um, so I need to work out a way so that students have to do the learning task to get the reward if that makes sense so they have to do the learning task to get that block of di that block of emerald um, the reason I was using emerald there is just because I know that would be very hard for the students to find they would have to spend a lot of time to build up that block of emerald um, particularly if I killed off all the normal NPCs in here, the villagers, um, they would have to spend a lot of time to get that. So, and the reward, I mean, the reward is experience and torches at the moment, so I need to tweak that as well. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more about this and more progress reports as we get going. See ya.